Hey everybody, it's your girl Renee Yvonne. And today in this video, we're going to be tackling how to regrow onions at an affordable cost for your in-home garden. Cover, rebuild, rejuvenate. Let's go. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I am super excited and do want to reiterate how I am starting my own in-home garden. So in this video, we're going to be regrowing onions and I'm going to take you along all the tools and steps that you'll need in order to get this started and get it done. From preparing the onion to planting it and reaping the harvest. All right guys, so let's get to it. As you can see here, um, we have a few items. If you have these items, it's okay. If you don't, then there are certain ways that you can improvise. Um, the items that I have here, I will list on the bottom of this video, so don't feel um, like you need to keep rewinding. You can just simply click below and see. But we have our onions. You can choose how many of our onions you want. For me, I'm going with three, just like I did in my previous video with the potatoes, as you can see them over here. And um, also, I have three glasses that I picked from my cabinet. I did choose glass, um, glasses that were from my cabinet made of glass because I do have a preference if I had a choice to choose between plastics and then also glass. I will always say glass first. If you don't have glasses that you really stuck on like that or you don't, you know, you can afford to use them for this cultivation, then go ahead and use them. You can always wash them out or whatever you like to do with them afterwards. But I'll be using these three glasses to place the onions in. And um, like I said, if you do not have a cutting board, you can also use things like a paper bag. You can place a paper bag. Um, we're not going to be doing too much cutting today, I would say. Um, you just probably need a clean countertop, um, a cutting board just to be safe. And um, yeah, safety first, guys. Always safety first. On a side note, we have a special guest today. This is my son Ephraim. I couldn't get this video done today without him wanting to be a part of it. So instead of fighting it, I have to go with the flow and invite him in on this journey and so that he can see what's going on. To all of you guys who are mommies, don't fight it, embrace it. The little guys just want to be a part of this process. I don't know who I would be. Ooh, that's, that's, ooh. I don't know who I would be um, today had I had more opportunities like this little guy to be a part of special things like this that are life changing for our family. So I just wanted to be of encouragement. Pause for a second. If you have a carrier or a sling, sling your baby on. Let's get to work. Let's do this. Be encouraged. And now that I've said that, let's go ahead and prep our onions. <laughs> this next part with the onion we're going to do minimal cutting um, so that it won't impact your little one or yourself so i wouldn't be worried about tears through this exercise with this process we're also um i just wanted to show you what we're going to do so basically we're going to take the onion remove the papery exterior and then we are going to submerge this part of the onion into our glasses into water after we cut about right here in the onion, okay? So here we go. I just put the rest of the onion pieces in a baggie so that they're pretty much ready for me to cut up into pieces for the next meal for dinner or lunch or whatever I need them for. They're pretty much ready to go and they're already peeled except for those little guys, but yeah. So you would just refrigerate these and then use them as soon as you can for cooking. All right guys, so here is the finished product. As you can see, I had to kind of improvise with the first one that I cut and I recorded that you just watched because it was too small to fit in one of these glasses. So I improvised, I got another glass bottle and this was just a bottle that I had bought for some tea, some organic tea that I had purchased. So like I said, 
these are ways that you can start your garden by using the things that you already have in your house. There's no need for you to go out and spend extra dollars when you have everything that you need. I did use these other two glasses that I have in my cabinet. And as you can see, the bottoms are fully submerged like that. And so we are going to keep an eye out on what the progress of these onions look like. And I will be giving you status updates until we finish. I'm so excited.